Don't judge this king's choices. We don't understand my reasons. I lost it all and most counted me out. However, this king didn't fold. Now watch me adjust my crown. Wait, what's the tagline? Oh, I'm getting a crown. Oh, shit. Practice is over. Now, it's game time for this king. In the game of chess, there's one king and many pawns. Namaste, bitches. I mean, girl, it's no shame. But this season, I'm the king who's paid. Watch mother now. Why wouldn't they don't trust me? Like, out of all his friends, he they can always come to me. I knew he was dealing with a lot, but what he told me, we just took it to the next level. And to know my friend was going through so much, it baffles me. But I'm glad that he told me because now I give him the help that he needs. It all happened so fast. Statistically, 9 out of 10 people says it happens fast. But in reality, it doesn't. It's like time moves so slow. No matter how loud you scream, beg and plead, the time never picks back up until it's over with. Hell, I've been stripping since I've been 18. I never would not once feel degraded. I used to show it all. Even in the back when I would count my money, shit, I would feel like a champ. But that's when everything changed the day I was. <sighs> the day I was gang raped. I never really get a chance to talk about Marco Thompson. I've tried a few times, but it's, it's hard and I, I never really get a chance to find the right words. Maybe it's guilt. Nah, screw that. It is guilt. I mean, all Marco wanted to do was love me unconditionally and all I wanted was the title. I wanted to be able to say that I was with someone even though I didn't love him the way that he loved me. I mean, that's what this is all about. <laughs> the man wanted to be with me and I, 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 I didn't want it the same way. And I feel like he knew that, but thought that over time I would change. But of course that didn't happen because once he found me and Chase in bed together, shit turned for the worse. So I took a look into the file folder, and there is something definitely going on with Ulysses. It looks like a movement of a lot of funds, and I just don't want to be around if anything goes down. Now, the coin that I get for the job that I do is nothing short of amazing, but I'm excited for Harlem to take over. Speaking of Harlem, I don't even know what to think about everything that's going on with him. My frequencies are off just a bit, and I just hope that it comes to a resolve. Now, my studio, that is my happy place. My clientele is continuing to grow. People are excited about what I'm doing and I'm excited about giving it to them. And then there's Zion. <sighs> what an amazing man. I have a little tech genius on my hand. He's building an app from scratch. He recently asked me, could we take it to the next level? <laughs> we all know that I love love. So we'll see where this goes. I'm headed out and I'll call you in just a few. Hey, youngish, I need to send off today. Okay. Um, what is it? It's just a very important document. Okay. And make sure it's in the mail today. Yes, sir. This envelope is definitely going to be the truth. If it all goes well, it could take my church to the next level, set me up well, my congregation, and Jonas, if you let me. Um, why you wear that? I think we're having like a dinner. I want to get all the guys together. Okay, but why? What do you mean why, silly? I want to spend time with the people that's important to me. 
And that includes me? Yes, you silly. I told you. You make a good team. And I like you. Wait, you like me? Yeah, I like you. Your energy, your spirit. You know, but I'm not too guys, you know. Oh, okay. Because you're in... So, wait. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Just let me know when they all reach back to you, okay? Okay. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. All right. See you, Ulysses. So, do you think Ulysses really like you? No comment. Hey! <laughs> hey! I knew you would do that. I just asked you to bring one thing. Just one thing. Man, relax, Paula Dean. Shit, it's in the car. I had to make sure the coast was clear. I just asked for you to bring a bottle of wine. Shit. Look, I might not be stripping right now, but don't nobody need to know. I brought a cheap ass bottle of wine. <laughs> I'm sure if it tastes good, they won't even notice. So, it's not about me, right? Watch they make it about me. I bet a hundred dollars it's about me. Bet me a thousand dollars it's about me. Damn. Of course not. Okay. But like I said, in order for you to heal of what you're going through, you have to talk about it to move forward. I mean, I'm trying to heal. Shit. Do you have any idea how it feels to look at yourself in the mirror and feel disgusted? Of course you don't. If you're still thinking about it, then you're not over it. <sighs> so the food must be good since I don't hear nobody talking. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. But your mom made this. <laughs> of course she made it. You know, he just went to go pick it up and warm it up here and make us pretend that he did it. <laughs> <laughs> not true at all. I could be so all by myself. Of course while she was on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, Ulysses? Like, what's going on? You don't you normally cook like this. What's the tea? Correction. He don't cook like this. <laughs> Nothing at all. I mean, I miss you guys. We've all been busy as of late, and I thought this would be a good way to just get together. That's all. No. What? I'm talking to him. And no, I don't buy what you're selling. What's <laughs> the, so, it's something else. I deserve that. I deserved all of that. I can never get one of them on you, hun Hall. You're going to always question what I do, no matter what it is. I know you owe two bills. Well, he's right. I didn't invite you all over to dinner tonight. I have some things to say. I like to be around the bush, but um, I'm moving. Wait, you're what? Mm -hmm. Come on, you listen with your slick ass. Like, how the hell are you going to be leaving now? And I just got here, what, like yesterday? What the fuck? Moving. I said moving. I applied to this amazing divinity school in Chicago. Still waiting to hear back from them, but I did get approved for an apartment in the downtown city of Chicago. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. So am I. Chicago's a great city and I know that you wanted it. I mean, I'd move back too if I wasn't. What? Yeah, if what? I saw that. Yeah, me too. Now one of y'all spell it. There's nothing to spell. Then, if you can't talk to your friends, who can you talk to? What Just, is going on? Let's get to talking. Let's talk. Oh my gosh. I told you. I knew it. I can't mean? believe y'all putting me on the spot like this. I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm giving you a safe space to talk to your friends. What is going on? Okay. So, New Year's a few years, a years ago. I was in Chicago and I just finished my first set. And I was getting ready for my second set when I was approached by these three guys. Normally, you know, when people approach me, I just, you know, brush it off and I keep it moving. Mm -hmm. But they were some of some international clients and they wanted to book me for it. And they had this like $5,000 advance in a duffel bag ready. So, you know, that money was like, let me go. Right. Fast forward, fast forward. After the event was over with, I was approached by two of the guys. And they were saying, oh, I did great. They can't wait for this performance. And the next thing you know, out of nowhere, the third guy came up behind me. 
The only reason why I noticed because it's rain. And then after that, that's when I was too weak to do anything. They started beating you. That's what happened? Yeah. And then a few minutes after that, that's when... What? That's when they started raping me. Wait, wait, what? I'm sorry. Whatever you guys are thinking, I've already asked him. He did not call the police at all. You didn't call the police? But you were raped. Jonas. What? I'm sorry. I'm with him. I'm okay. I just figured the sooner I get it off me, get home, shower, the quicker I stop thinking about it. Then um, this is different. You were violated in the worst way. You can't just wash this shit away. I mean, that's true, but I won't let it consume me. The first time shit went crazy was when my father beat me. That has nothing compared to me getting raped. <sighs> that shit's so sad, man. To, to know that one of my friends had been violated in that kind of way, shit's heartbreaking. I mean, I, I guess it kind of makes sense, though, as to why he's been acting the way he was as far as, like, avoiding and staying away. Shit. I can only imagine what the fuck I would do if that some, something like that happened to me. That's no way to think about anything. You're not soulless. I think you need counseling. What do you think I suggested to him? Then I'm just coming with me to Chicago for a couple of weeks to get the help that he needs. The experience is very traumatic for him in more ways than he ever know. You're doing the right thing, Dylan. I yeah, agree. I, I think it's a good idea. And we'll definitely come and visit. I mean, at this point, the first step is admitting that I need help. And you guys are right. I'm going to seek it. You got it. I'm sorry. I wish you'd have said something about this shit sooner. Like, come on, Anna. Come you know, I've, been, I've been praying for him. That she told me. Hey, girl. I'm about to walk in. I'm out. I'll come out to the table, okay? All right. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. He's getting the help he needs. That's all you should be concerned about. It's hard not to think about it. I, I just wish I knew what to say when he. When he said that, it's hard for you to say it too. It's hard to believe. Like, I would have never thought that something like this would happen to any of us. The same could be said about you. I'm sorry. When did I ever tell you that I had been raped? Because I don't recall that ever happening to me. Okay, I'm not talking about being raped. I'm talking about the murder. Yes, Look, maybe. I would have never thought any of us could be capable of murder. Well, maybe Tatum. But definitely not you. When I said fuck you before, I meant it. Why did you do it, Harlem? Why did you murder your friend? First of all, bitch, I never said I murdered anybody. And I'm not about to have this conversation with you. Okay, look, I've been with you through the Maxwell thing, through the Tatum thing. We left, we came here, you're piecing everything together, and then this? I just want to know what happened. It's the drama for me. Mm -hmm. Fine! Marco told anyone who would listen that he wanted to be with me. I eventually gave in and said yes. We became we fell in love. We were completely committed to each other. I was his and he was mine. And of course, you know, I have this crazy ass habit of always fucking up something good in my life. So guess what I did? I cheated on him. Yeah. And I have planned on leaving him for the guy that I was cheating on him with. Harlan. He discovered all this by logging into our MacBook one day and saw all of our pictures and the messages of me saying how much I wanted to leave him. One day I came home from work and he confronted me about it all. He asked me if I really wanted to leave him. And... Without thinking, I said, yeah. Oh, just that just that quick, he pulled the gun out and shot himself right in front of me. Now, I don't care what nobody says. I may not have pulled the trigger, but I killed him. 
man. It's something I gotta live with for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, man. Well, yes, here we go. Marco was my baby. Um, and I loved him, but I guess I just didn't take him serious. And one probably could say the same when it comes to Maxwell. Um, I loved him, but I guess I wasn't in love with him, and that wasn't right. I, I tend to get bored easily, and I think that's what plays a part into me trying to figure out this thing called life, if you want to say that, and a big part of me into my decision making. Um, I don't make the best decisions as we see. Um, I'm still working on that. I'm a, I'm a human, so I got to figure out how to do this. Uh, but I'm going to be all right. As far as these friends of mine, Tatum, fuck that bitch. I stand on that hard. We will never be friends again. The next time I see her, she better trade lightly, and I stand on that to this day. The incident that already happened as far as the fighting, that shouldn't have happened, but it did because she tried it. I see her again, and she tries it again. It's going to happen again. I'm letting y'all know this now, okay? Jonas, that's my girl. I love her. Um... I guess shit just got rocky because of this shit with Marco. Did I want it to go there? No, but it did. Um, and our friendship is kind of wishy-washy, at least to me. Because we need to sit down and have an actual further conversation about some boundaries that she's crossed. Um, the other guys, I love them dearly. I miss them. But I, right now, just really got to focus on what's next for Harlem. You said you had a date tonight. I do. But shouldn't you be getting ready? I am ready. No, you're not. This app will be here when you get back. Yeah. Go and get ready. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going. So this how you worked on so far? Yeah. I think I like the way it's going. Does it look like a real dating app yet? Yeah. 